Now you're probably expecting this video to start off with Ever since I was a little kid I wanted to do this job in the film and TV industry Well you're wrong Okay, you are wrong When I was a little kid I wanted to be a racing car driver or an astronaut Not a camera operator or an editor Now hello guys, my name is Jamie And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself And what I want to do in the film and TV industry now, the average person watches one film or TV show per day. The most I watch is probably about one a week, and that is The Walking Dead. The most TV I would watch in a week is probably football. Not a TV show. I don't really watch that many films or TV shows, but when I do, they're good. I've recently just watched the first two Predator films and I'm planning on watching Reservoir Dogs next. Films which are very highly rated. Now, the way I got into the film and TV industry was when I was about 9 years old. Back when I was young, I used to love watching YouTube. And something I used to watch when I watched YouTube was stop motion films. Now, stop motion films the best example I can give you guys is Wallace and Gromit. You get a character or an object and you get your camera and you take a picture of said object or character. And in between the um, shots you move the object or character slightly and you combine all your pictures that you take and you get yourself a video and it is cool. Now, I used to love making these in my free time, as well as watching them. There was one YouTuber I used to love to watch, and that was Forest Fire 101. If you guys don't know him, he's the guy that made the duck song. He also had a wide variety of stop-motion films, where he used already existing characters such as Batman and Spider-Man and made his own stories. <laughs> this inspired me to make my own adventures using already existing characters. I can't show off any of the videos now because one, I think they are bad, and two, I don't have access to my old iPod which is what I use to record these stop motion films. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't because I can't charge my iPod. Oh well. Now another thing which inspired me where we're sticking with the stop motion film is Wallace and Gromit. I used to love watching Wallace and Gromit, especially The Wrong Trousers. I loved that film as a kid. And that wanted me to make my own stop motion films. And much like Forest Fire 101 did, I wanted to make my own stop motion films. And I loved them. Around the time of year 5 or year 6, there was one lesson where we got to use iMovie and make our own movie trailer. And I made that. And I was proud. All I remember was it was about superheroes. I adored it. Although it was bad, I knew that when I left school, in year 11, I wanted to study film and TV. So what roles interest me in the film and TV industry? Well, the main part that I want to get into is editing. Something which I love about film and TV is going back to old movies from the 80s and 90s and being blown away by the outstanding editing which still holds up to this day. You look at the effects in films such as Jaws and Jurassic Park, they look really good. They don't look like they were made in the 80s or the 90s, they look like they were made now. Sure, some stuff can be a bit weird. But, my god, it still holds up and it's really impressive and that's what I want to get into, editing. Not really the special effects part, to a degree, but mainly editing. This is an example of what I did in one of my projects for college. There's more evidence tonight of the intense pressure on the NHS as COVID-19 infections continue to rise right across the UK. That, I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. Thank you.
and I'm proud of it. A lot of people have complimented me on how I edit stuff and how good I am at it, so that is why when I do my final project for college, I want to do it involving editing and in the style of a documentary.